Hi guys, welcome to this next video on Node Express MongoDB tutorial series. And in the last video, we talked about protecting routes. So user needs to be able to log in first before accessing the data of our application. And currently our data is the notes application and we protected basically the notes route. So user should be able to access the notes after login. So in this video, I will talk about RBAC, which is called the role based access control. And I'm going to go to the models first user model and I'm going to add another property here and I'm going to name it role since we are building a small application. So I'm only going to handle the two roles for the user. One is admin and other is the user. So I can write role and it is of type string and default. I would say a user and uh, then I will give the enum user and then the admin enum means that these two values will only be uh, available for the type role we cannot give any third value to this type role for this user okay and i'll come back to the controller and here i'll be creating another controller which is the middleware that i'll be passing to my routes which is the notes routes here it is Okay, just like I pass this protected data in the previous video uh, to get the nodes and uh, I'll be creating a middleware currently for just deleting that user should have an admin role uh, in order to delete any particular node. Okay, so let's say that I'm going to give the name of it uh, like uh, access delete and this is not yet created. And I'm going to give the middleware before this, but also for deleting user should be login first. So I can use the same protect data middleware before the access data. Okay. So protect data will show that if the user is login or not, if login, then we will show the notes and from the list of notes, we will be creating this middleware in which user will have access to delete the note or not based upon the roles. Okay, so access delete is the middleware name which I've added. I'm going to save this file and I'm going to open up the auth controller. And in this file, I'm going to create uh, an exports a function and I'm going to name it access delete, which I have actually uh, uh, given its name in my notes routes. So from here, let's say that I want to pass some kind of role to that middleware. Uh, so if I pass something like the admin from here, which is I'm allowing if it is an admin, then I'll allow it to be delete from that database. Okay. But how will I be receiving this delete in my, this controller, since we know that in the previous functions, we have been, uh, writing the default stuff like the request response and the next methods, but how can we receive that value? So for now, let's try to receive that in the role. Okay. Since we know that we are passing only the uh, one string and uh, if we were passing the multiple roles, let's say an admin or a manager, both should have access to delete the notes. Then we would be accessing it with the spread operator three dots. Uh, if you don't know about that, you can check out my JavaScript video in the JavaScript playlist about the spread operators. So I'll be writing return. And then I can write if request response and then it is checking if it is admin. Uh, I don't need to have all of this stuff. Just I'll be using this if condition. Okay. And uh, if I were having multiple roles to access the delete functionality, I could use the built in function like includes. Uh, let me show you. So if not roles uh, role dot includes and then I will be writing request dot user dot role. Okay. So if this role were containing an uh, array of all the access users, let's say here, I could have passed the admin and the manager within an array, then we could receive over here. And usually in real life application, we have 
to provide access to multiple people so but since we are only working with admin so let's go with the if role equals to admin then i'm going to return uh i'm just going to uh let's say it's not equals to admin first if it is not equal to admin then i'm going to return an error so i can return an error like a new error and inside it i can have the you don't have permission to delete this note okay and if it is not true and after that i can just give the next button okay so i hope that it will work fine and this is called closure that we return another function within a function and this is uh, we call a closure and one last thing we have to do over here actually we have written the constant directly over here and also passing the constant from here as well so it will always be this uh, running this next function so i need to fetch the role from the user who is logged in so in the previous video i showed you that why i stored this user data in the request dot user so we can get the data from the request object because i've already passed it so request dot user dot role okay so now we are done with our implementation now let's go to postman and test our feature so i'm going to start off with creating a new user i have actually deleted all the users from my database just for testing and i have written this email admin at mail.com and i have given the role of admin to test if we are able to delete the note with the admin role or not okay so now if i hit send this is deleted and you can see that from back end we are actually getting this role admin okay so our data is successfully being created <clears throat> now let's try and uh, log in with the same credentials so i am going to write admin at mail.com and i'm going to send and now you can see that this has been logged in and i'm going to copy this auth access for both for getting all the notes and also for deleting the notes all right and uh, here let's try first getting all the notes if we are authenticated yes and in the code if you remember that uh, we are actually adding this middleware protect data as well it means that user should be logged in before accessing any kind of data related to notes okay so then after this it will check if the user role is admin or not so here um, i need to give some id of the node which i want to delete so let's try to delete this last one the node i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it over here let's save it let's send and our note has been deleted because our user role is admin let's try to fetch all the notes and our node have been deleted the title node okay so now let's try to create another user with a name like user at mail.com and i'm going to change the role to user okay so now i'm going to sign up with this user with new email and also with the role user okay and let's try to log in with the user email id now so user let's save it let's save and uh, let's copy this let's try to fetch all the notes and from here let's try to fetch all the notes and yes these are all the notes now let's try to delete this uh, express 2 the top one actually the express 3 and uh, now let's go and paste over here have i actually pasted the auth token let's add an auth token i don't know if i've pasted it in the delete route as well so let's save it and i have actually pasted the id as well of the first node so let's try to delete it let's send and you can see that you don't have permission to delete this node uh, and it is actually returning us a response and error the reason it is showing it like this because we are returning it like the return next we have actually need to return it like this if we want it to be a proper response along with the status code so let's try to return with the 401 and i'm going to add you don't have permission to delete 
okay let's try to save it and we are already logged in with the user and uh, let's try to delete one more time and i'm waiting for db connection to be successful so it must be waiting for db connection and yes and now you can see that it has returned us a message you don't have a permission to delete so our functionality of role based deletion for the different uh, nodes have been implemented and we will be changing uh, make some changes in these functions later on when we'll be building some more features like uh, resetting password security and some optimization within the code and also some kind of validation all right so that's pretty much it for this video if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button and comment below if you have any question thank you so much for watching